welcome to this week's five minutes of revelation and today in those five minutes i want to encourage you with a verse from psalms 8 and that's verse 5 and here it says for you have made him and that's talking about you and me a little lower than god himself and you've crowned him with glory and honor hallelujah that means that god has crowned you with glory and honor that means that god wants to crown you with glory and honor he wants to bring those things into your life but as i read that i was wondering well what is this glory what does glory actually mean what does it hold what's included in this glory because it's nice to say god wants to crown you with glory but all it is is well it's nice to hear but what does that mean specifically so i went into his word and in genesis 45 verse 13 I came across that glory holds wealth and riches when you talk about glory it also talks about wealth and riches it talks about honor like you saw in the verse before and glory also means power so those three things are part of glory when God wants to crown you with glory that means that he wants to make you wealthy he wants to make you rich he wants to honor you he wants you to be honored by others and he wants to put power in your hands he wants to give you power then in exodus 16 verse 10 i found that glory means the presence of god so when god wants to crown you with glory he's saying i want to be with you i want to stay with you i want to surround you day and night i never want to leave you nor forsake you that also means glory when he crowns you with glory he is crowning you with himself with his presence then in exodus 33 verse 18 to 20 i found that glory also means protection when god crowns you with glory that means that he wants to protect you that he protects you that he keeps you safe from trouble and that you are safe and protected in psalms 24 verse 8 i found that glory also means strong power and ability so god wants to make you strong he wants to give you power he wants to put ability in your hands he wants to make you able to overcome any circumstance to overcome any problem to overcome any situation that is coming your way that also means crowning you with glory and in psalms 24 verse 5 to 7 i found that glory means blessing god wants to bless you when he gives you glory god wants to make you righteous that means if anything is coming against you and you were treated unjustly god wants to restore your right back to you and when god says that he's crowned you with glory then he's crowned you with this justice that no injustice can happen to you and it also means healing healing is also included in this glory so when god crowns you with glory i can't say it enough that means that he's put healing at your disposal that he's put healing on your body in your circumstance in all areas of your life healing is part of this glory that god wants to crown you with in proverbs 28 verse 12 i found that glory means triumph victory and rejoicing so when god puts glory on you he's giving you the triumph he's giving you the victory he's giving you joy and he's causing you to rejoice because you overcome and you have the victory in your life and his last one in isaiah 58 verse 8 it says that glory also is your guard and a guard is someone that protects you and keeps you safe and in that circumstance it means from surprising attacks so when anything is trying to come against you god is keeping you safe he's protecting you and that is also included in this glory that god is saying that he wants to put on you and at the end i want to read you a verse from second corinthians 3 verse 18 but we all with unveiled face beholding as in a mirror the glory of the lord are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory isn't that great this just means as we look to god as we realize how great he is how glorious he is all these things that are part of his glory as we look at that and realize it we are also being transformed from glory 
to glory. That means you receive all these things in your life. You get to have them in your life. You get to live in them. You get to be blessed by them as you look at God and as you behold them. And that's why I've put the verses I've told you before, the parts of scripture in the description below. It doesn't say it like that word for word, but it's included and those verses will show you all these things that glory holds, all these different parts of glory. Of course, there's so, mon- so many more. Of course, there's so much more to find out about glory. But as a beginner, as a startup, go through these, check them out and realize how glorious your God is and then by that be transformed from glory to glory and receive all these things that I just read that I just talked about into your life all that healing all that protection all that wealth all that joy all these other good things that I've just mentioned and that's what I want to encourage you with today so take this with you realize how glorious your God is don't forget to read your chapter a day and I'll see you again next time.